Rolling up your Jira data is not a very easy thing to do, but something that a lot of teams want to do. If you've ever wanted to roll up like progress, story point values, time spent up to the epic, then you know that this is not a trivial task to do in Jira. But luckily for you, my good friends over at Appis have a really, really cool app called Epic Sum Up. And today we're gonna to be looking at three cool features that I really think you need to be paying attention to. We're gonna talk about their epic in-panel summary view. We're gonna dive deep and look at the actual data in a list view. And then finally, I'm gonna show you one of their gadgets that's really, really cool. Don't forget to check out those links down below because this is one app that you wanna definitely start a 30-day trial to. All right, so here I am inside of Jira. And as you can see, this is just bare bones Jira. And I'm in the timeline view. And I wanted to start here because I wanted to show you what Jira gives you out of the box for free. And then we're gonna dive deeper into what Epic Sum Up does for us so you can compare and contrast. So out of the gate in the timeline view, you do get some sort of a progress bar. Now, as I click on an Epic here, I can expand it and you can see that all the children issues, all those stories, tasks, and bugs that are associated with this particular Epic, their progress bar shows up right here and it's based on the statuses of those children. But the bug stops there. There's not a whole lot we can do. And if we open up an Epic, and I'm gonna go full screen for you here, so I'm gonna open it up. What data gets rolled up? Well, not a whole lot. First of all, we still get that same progress bar, which is bigger. And then that's it. There is no rolling up of story points. There's no rolling up of time spent. There's no rolling up of pretty much anything other than we get a little progress bar. Where your problems are finally gonna be solved. Let's take a look at this. When you install Epic Sum Up, again, using that link in the description down below, you are gonna get this summary panel right here. Now this summary panel is really, really interesting and it's really customizable as well. But let me show you what you get here with very minimal to no configurations. So first off, it's gonna roll up that time spent. We all know that time spent goes from the subtask to the story very, very well. But if you wanna see an aggregated rolled up view of your time spent from the stories to the epic, it's nearly impossible. So this is gonna do it for us all for free. And then we have status category. So this is gonna be a very similar item to what we see in the progress bar over here on the left, but it gives us a little bit more metadata so we actually know how many of each category are in making up these bars. Because over here, when you look at it, yeah, we know we're 16% done, but we don't know what status category each of these items represent or how many are done for each item. So it's just, you're taking a guess, but here it'll give you a better breakdown. Now, we also get some attachments and comments rolled up, but you can click on this little gear here and this will allow you to customize these options. So I can slide this slider here. I can bring in my completed issues. I can bring in, as you can see, those story points come right in. And so I'm just gonna hit save there. And now I'm gonna have a little bit extra view here. And as you can see for this particular epic, I can now see the total number of story points. There's 21 in total. We're gonna be taking a look at a different example in a bit. And then we have those completed issues. So we know exactly how many issues are complete and how many are complete because this is the data that we need as project managers to take action. This is what we're looking for to help us understand where do we aim our resources? Well, here we only have one out of seven done and this is where we can start getting some metadata. Now, if you zoom in closely, if you look very, very closely here, you're going to see that there is basically a little arrow that kind of splits like this. And if you click on these, it's gonna take us into this list view. And this list view is very powerful because it basically lets us zoom in and see where that data is coming from. So as you can see here, we're looking at this particular epic, all the children of that epic, all the statuses of the epics, the status category of those epics, and then the resolution. Now this, of course, is customizable. So we can click over here on columns. We can basically bring in any field we want. I'm gonna bring in those story points as well. And so we can bring this one and this one in, click done, and now it's gonna refresh. And now I'm gonna be able to see those story points as they're coming in. I wanna quickly mention that when you are in this list view, you can actually edit the fields directly from the list view so you don't actually have to open the issue itself. And what's cool is as the story progresses, right? So let's just say this particular epic went to in progress, then eventually it went to done, right? And so as this item goes to done, we can go back to our epic, right? Back to our summary view over here on the right, and we're gonna see that things start dynamically changing. We now have 13 out of 21 stories completed, and we now have two out of seven completed. And so again, if I expand and go back into that list view, you're gonna see that the data is also dynamically changing. All right, so let me show you the third cool thing that I wanna focus on. 
So going over to the dashboards, let's just say that we wanted to build some sort of an enterprise rollup, right? Because we always have stakeholders, we always have executives that are very, very interested in what's the status of the whole thing? Where are we at with everything, right? Well, let me show you this gadget. I'm gonna go maximize here so you can see the whole thing in full screen. But this is a gadget that you get when you sign up for Epic Summit. Use that link down in the description. And essentially, it gives you a rollup of everything you care about. It's not Epic by Epic as we just saw moments ago but this is gonna show us the whole thing. And so here's a list of all my epics and you can sort this and rank this however you want. There's a couple of different things. I'll go into edit mode to kind of see you what's going on here. And so once you're in edit mode, you can configure this particular uh, gadget to show you again, the number of visible issues that you want. Um, it allows you to do in-cell editing. Um, you can customize the query so you can control what issues come back or not. I just picked the filter that was there, but you can create your own custom filter. And then very similar to when I was doing those summary panels inside the Epic, you can control which uh, fields come back. And so I'm just gonna click on save because that's just the settings that I have. And another detail that I wanna add here is that if you pull in fields like your status or your assignee in the gadget within the dashboard, you can just double click on that field and you're gonna be able to edit it directly from the gadget, which I think is pretty cool. But again, there's so much more customization that I just don't have enough time in this video to do for you but highly recommend check out the documentation. But here we are inside of a particular gadget that is just pulling all the epics for a particular project. And this is gonna give me a very, very good high level overview. Now you'll notice that my time is a little empty here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into one of these epics and I'm gonna go into this one right here that has the most amount of data. And we're going to essentially start adding some time, but we're not gonna add time to the epic because that would be cheating, right? I'm gonna go into the story and I'm gonna go into each story and I'm just gonna add a little bit of time. And so for each one of these, I'm gonna say I spent five hours here and then I'm gonna go into one of the other stories over here. And let's just say that on this one, we spent, oh, I don't know, 13 hours. This one was a little bit harder, right? And so as we're adding this time to our stories, I want you to see what this is gonna ultimately look like on the Epic Sum Up because like I mentioned, this works really, really well, self task to story, but when you're looking at your epics, you're oftentimes left with not enough information. So I'm gonna go back to my gadget over here for my enterprise rollup, and now I'm gonna expand this again so you can see the whole thing. And you'll see here now for that particular epic that we had, we're 39 hours logged, right? So we are now able to log in some time and you'll notice that it's red because now we can put an original estimate on that particular epic. So that means we can tell our teams, hey, for this epic, how much effort do you think it's gonna take? And they can give you a number like 100, 200, 300 hours, right? It's gonna be a big number. And now the epic sum up is going to be able to calculate these values of the actual time spent on those individual stories and then see, hey, were we close? Were we way off base? Like we can now do this as a learning opportunity, as a feedback loop to get better in our project management and in our guessing overall. Now you're gonna notice that I have cycle time and you're probably wondering, hmm, what exactly is that? Well, this is another cool feature that I think makes this tool very, very valuable. I'm gonna go back into that epic and you're gonna notice that I have something called cycle time. Right? And this cycle time is a custom field that I made that automatically is calculated based on dates from a previous video. Now, that's way out of scope. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hand jam values. You're gonna have to go watch my other video in which I show you how to calculate the cycle time, right? But let's just say that I put some cycle times in here and I say that this cycle time took five hours to complete overall or five days, whatever our cycle time is set to be. I'm just gonna do five days for that one. I'm gonna open up this other one and I'm gonna set this cycle time to be 10 days, right? So we got 15 days total. And so now when I go back to my enterprise rollup, I'm going to be able to see, again, I'm gonna go maximize here for that particular epic, we'll be able to see those 15 hours. And this is what I think is, again, a very, very cool feature because this is a custom field. I'm doing some other logic outside of this app where I calculate those custom cycle times, but now I can roll that data up and show it across for that particular epic. And again, this is really, really powerful stuff here, folks, because not a lot of tools allow you to see the rollup of data this easily and this customizable. A lot of other tools, you have to kind of play by their games, but this tool here, Epic Summit, is highly customizable. So those are the three things that I wanted to show you, right? As you can see, the rollup just works so flawlessly. We're able to see rollup information at the epic level, so in that summary pane, 
we're able to double click into that summary pane and see a list view of our data and see how it actually comes together. And then finally, we looked at this gadget that shows us a true sum up roll up of all the epics and all the stories and everything that's in your project. So you can have a real sense of appreciation for what's what and where you need to manage or send your specific resources to help start fixing bottlenecks, problems, issues, whatever you got going on. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And most importantly, go check out that link in the description because this is a 30 day trial you don't want to skip out on.